Hey guys, Bridgie here, and in this video I want to share with you my top 3 favorite Figma plugins which I've been using over the past years to tackle projects of all sizes and uh, now without further ado let's jump right into the video so i'll be using uh, this uh, project which uh, i recently created in some other tutorials uh, here on youtube so if you're interested in uh, creating these screens from scratch uh, check out uh, the previous videos but uh, now let's start with, with the very first plugin which is a must have in my personal opinion for figma and that is content reel now, as you may know, as a designer, whenever you're creating a project, and this can be a web design project, an app, or anything in between really, you're going to need some content. But a lot of the times you want to have the final content or you need some placeholder content. And the great thing about this plugin is that it gives you pretty much endless supplies of content which you might need for most uh, projects uh, i would say especially when it comes to the most common patterns so for example let's say that here we want to change and have random uh, generate the numbers you can simply click on uh, numbers and you're going to find uh, and it's just going to automatically generate uh, this content same for the emails same for full names uh, and you can even have lorem ipsum text now this of course is an option which is going to provide a lot of content this is great for for paragraphs for example so as you can see you can generate all sorts of different data you can even pick and choose the content if you click on the i icon so for example say that you want uh, uh, to to pick and choose the emails because you don't want them to be after a certain length uh, you can easily do that uh, and uh, I can literally select uh, individually the type of emails that uh, um, I want. So this would be the very first use of content trio and uh, the very next one uh, is going to be for things like uh, images and uh, even icons. I don't really tend to use the icons as much as I use uh, Nucleo icons which is a free icon management software but let's go under the images and uh, as you're going to see here this is great for avatars in particular and uh, even things like maps uh, company logos uh, but let's uh, get started with the very first ones so for example here you can find uh, all sorts of different avatars and you can pick and choose them individually oops i need to uh, bring the layer opacity all the way to 100 and uh, as you can see you can simply like apply these uh, and uh, you can even give it like two shots uh, in order to uh, apply them at uh, intervals and uh, even things like you know logos you're going to be able to add uh, some some of these elements in uh, pretty much no time now another element that I use quite often is uh, for example maps so say that we have uh, um, a rectangle element here I can simply select uh, uh, a map and uh, I can uh, literally go ahead and uh, add some uh, placeholder maps uh, directly from here and uh, even things like you know they, they really have a lot of uh, elements this one is for Airbnb for example um, and then uh, here's flags so all in all elements that can be quite useful in a lot of different scenarios now, as I mentioned, they also have uh, icons, but uh, I don't really find myself using uh, uh, much of these. In fact, I haven't even got them installed. But um, yeah, this will pretty much cover like the essentials when it comes to content reel. Now let's move on to the very next plugin, which is Unsplash. Now Unsplash, uh, it's a very famous uh, website where you can find uh, um, royalty-free images. So the way Unsplash works is that you you're going to have this plugin. So you won't need to go on unsplash.com, find an image, download it in your hardware, and then uh, upload it to Figma and do this process over and over again because it can take quite a bit of time and uh, it's just annoying to do. However, with the Unsplash plugin, simply launch the plugin and you can search directly here. You select uh, uh, an element you're going to be able to add the images in one single click so very easy to use uh, this one i don't know why it's not uh, working for whatever reason but essentially this 
Um, it's something that uh, I find myself uh, using quite a bit in Figma and uh, it's uh, something which is really useful if uh, you're designing pretty much anything that involves uh, some uh, images being for a placeholder or for the project itself. And now let's move on to the very last uh, suggestion which uh, this one is uh, uh, one which I battled a bit with, uh, meaning that I wasn't sure which other one to choose. But I would say out of all the other plugins which uh, I find myself using, I would say that Mockup is definitely a very cool plugin to have on the radar. Probably, um, or actually I'm certain I won't be using it as often as these other two plugins which I just mentioned. These are essentials, uh, in my opinion, for working with Figma. But uh, mockup, this is really cool to present work uh, in mockups or even to have uh, mockups created for maybe a website where you're showing a particular feature and you want to do so in a very nice way. So you select the screen, you go under the different mockups, uh, and as you can see, you have a wide range of mockups. Uh, and for example, let's select uh, this one. Um, let's go over here and I can select uh, any of the artboards inside of Figma. And uh, as you can see, this one is going to require a lot of uh, uh, space. So maybe let's let's do something easier. Uh, let's do maybe this one here. And uh, let's select this image crop. As you can see, it's perfect. And um, yeah, you have uh, this mockup applied. I can simply go over here, for example, pasting canvas. And I'm going to have this mockup right here. And uh, I can even uh, uh, go ahead and uh, literally have all of this inside of layers. So you can make any adjustment which uh, you prefer. You can also change the color. And uh, all of these mockups, uh, my personal opinion, they're really cool really classy and professional. They're all from uh, uh, LS Graphics. And uh, as you may know, I'm a big fan of uh, their work. I uh, already featured it uh, many times in uh, other instances in the channel. And uh, yeah, just a really cool uh, resource uh, when it comes to creating mockups uh, on the fly. So I really hope you enjoyed this uh, video. And um, I want to remind you that I recently launched uh, a discount for my Figma course. So if you're interested in learning and bringing your Figma design skills to the next level, feel free to, che to check it out. But on my channel, I have also hundreds upon hundreds of uh, free videos. So check those out as well. And I'll see you in the next one.